What is up guys, Kate here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today, I'm going to be taking you guys to see Harvard versus Michigan Division I tennis. We're traveling there with our team today, so I'm gonna be bringing you guys along for the ride. I'm gonna do a little bit of a vlog style today, so I'm excited to see how this kind of pans out. We'll be able to see some good tennis for sure. Uh, Michigan is currently ranked number 11 in the country, and Harvard is the number 12. We will be going to Harvard, they're hosting, so it'll be nice to see, you know, their facilities and stuff. Hopefully I can, you know, show you guys around a little bit of the campus if we have time. And of course show you singles, doubles, their warm up and all that stuff. So, let's go to it. Jeremy, what do you think about going to watch Harvard today? I'm excited. It's going to be great tennis. Yeah. I'm excited to see some great points. They're ranked 11th and 12th nationally for D1, so it's going to be a lot of a lot of good tennis. All right, we're here on the campus now. Good old Harvard, and um, yeah, we just passed um, their track. Looks pretty <laughs> sick. They're playing Michigan today, so we're going to catch some of that. Should be pretty good, good level. You never know, some of these guys will be playing pro probably someday, so maybe we'll cross paths with them. But yeah, we're gonna go inside. We'll try and show you guys around. We just passed uh, their courts actually. They got nice outdoor courts. They got little bleachers and stands there. Uh, their nets aren't up though. We're like in February the second now, so. Just warming up right now. Hi, Jeremy. Uh, nice to see that, honestly, the level is quite close. And I think it's a lot of mental, to be honest. These guys are obviously very, very good. But I feel like for most of the level, like, it's super, super close. And, uh, yeah, it just comes down to a lot of little things, maybe a little bit of fitness, maybe a little bit of mental work. But yeah, as far as like strokes, technique, footwork, all that stuff, a lot of, you know, our guys are pretty much on the same level. And yeah, it just comes down to a couple little things. I'm sure once we start watching them play, it'll be a little bit different. Um, especially in doubles, I'm interested to see what, you know, what combos they run, uh, how, to, how are they moving out there, etc. So it will be nice to see, just, just watching the warm up right now. One thing that we are talking about right now is that their, their warm up is actually more than just the warm up. They're actually doing some drills out here. So in college tennis, we have an hour to warm up. And they're, of course, they're doing you no know, volley serves, whatever. But right now, actually, they're doing some volley work that's like closing the net because we play doubles first to college tennis. So. That's just kind of interesting because we're, you know, there's doubles that happens first and these guys are really just working on closing the net, you know, angled kind of volleys and stuff, so, like, what? They're going out of eye formation. Yeah, like, right now they're going out of, like, they're doing the volley stuff out of eye formation, which is pretty sick. But, like, what I was just saying is they have the baskets out. Oh, yeah, they're doing some other stuff here right now. I think they're doing the same drill on the other courts and they'll probably end up doing some serve stuff here as well. But Michigan is not doing any of the basket stuff right now. Maybe because they're the away team, I'm not entirely sure. But at least in Division Two, you don't see a ton of basket stuff in the warm-up. So this is maybe something that we could even like implement into our like game day stuff. Let's speak at a conference together. I covered D2, he covered D3. I do one. So what they're doing right now is they got the coach absolutely crushing serves right now at them. And they're kind of going through some doubles points right now. So it's interesting to see the difference of their warm-ups and stuff because 
Harvard's guys right now are definitely more like silent killer action, where these guys are more really loud and stuff, which is a little bit expected. You know, Michigan, you think about their football program, Harvard, you think, you know, really good students, quiet. Interesting to see how that translates on court as well. But really kind of picking up on some goods here for like our warm-ups and stuff can add way more into the warm-up because a lot of college teams are so generic when it comes to their warm-up. Alright, so Harvard did take the doubles point. It was 2-1 to one, and they kind of came back big there with the first set. They were down a break and then played a couple of really solid points there to finish it off as well. Overall, just really solid. Um, I think at the end of the video I'll kind of wrap up what I think about overall about the singles and the doubles and like what the difference is between like per se like maybe a player like me. but. The singles has started so we'll try and get a little bit of footage of that for you guys and then we'll kind of wrap up and yeah tell you what the score was as well so like i said harvard is up 1-0 they got all the singles out there right now So, wrapping it up here, they, uh, Harvard actually took care of business there, 4-0, uh, five singles, they clutched it there in a tiebreaker, 7-6 in the third. Man, a lot of things that I was really impressed with, uh, we'll recap all those things though at the dorm, but we actually had to leave because we gotta all go back because we came as a team, so they won 4-0 though, so, so anyway. That's uh, pretty cool. Nice to watch some good tennis there. And yep, we'll give you a recap when we get back. The reason he didn't recognize this was because he never got one. Because he didn't go to Harvard. Well guys, made it back here to campus. And yeah, definitely a lot to talk about. Um, I will keep it brief here because it is, I'm looking at the clock. About 11 o'clock now, it was a full day. Uh, I am a bit tired, even though it is a Friday night, I don't think there will be any college festivities tonight. Um, but yeah, I mean, Harvard ended up beating them 6-1, which is pretty big of a win, I would say. I mean, the difference was only one ranking spot and Michigan was the, the team that was higher in the rankings. It is really early in the college season, so I mean, <clears throat> really isn't, um, the rankings don't really say that much, but still, that does mean something. That's a huge win for them. And yeah, the level, great level. Um, it was really nice to see a lot of people, students, uh, people from the community out, just a lot of 
people there watching the tennis and that's always something that I love to see is just people watching our sport in general so that was really cool to see people be really involved into the matches so but to get to you know what what was I impressed with was there any surprises or anything to start like the level was was of course um impressive I mean I've seen pro tennis before it's definitely not that level is it better than me absolutely um by a lot though that's where the question is it they are the level is better than for sure but I feel like I'm really not that far away and I did take a few notes of where I think they are better in singles and doubles and when it comes to doubles I feel like Closing the net is something they are eons better than us at as far as most D2 solid players. I mean, I would consider myself a fairly good doubles player at the Division II level. I mean, we were literally like two games away, a couple points away from me and my partner making D2 nationals. Um, so doubles, I feel like in general, they were much better at closing the net. And with that, when they were doing that, their volleys were very well placed using the width of the court. And you guys would have seen them warming up their eye formation, which I did talk about. When they're warming up their eye formation and the pop up there, they're always hitting short angled volleys. That's something that I would say lower level, but it's not like we're lower level. It's just maybe not as good. We don't do as good as a job at that. So I feel like that's something for me and a lot of players probably around my level can do better at closing the net in doubles and using the width of the court. And in singles, depth was definitely better. I feel like a lot of people get away with a little bit of the shorter ball. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just they have less of them. And obviously, if you compare like, you know, this Harvard team to the number one, two, or three team in the country, well then it's the same thing applies. And then if you, you know, compare that number one, two, three team to, you know, a challenger, an ATP level player that's in the top 50, well, then it's another difference as well. So depth was something I noticed for sure. Width in singles from the baseline, not necessarily at the net, using the width of the court with angle to bring the opponent off the court is something I noticed. And last but not least, it may sound kind of boring or cringe or whatever you want to call it, but power. Um, these guys are generating... Pretty good power. I would say it's, we are, that that's the one that we are definitely as close in uh, as far as like if I'm talking about myself, we are, or I am very close to the level. The serve, I'm there, if not even better. Some of the guys are not actually um, hitting their serve as hard as they can, which is a good and a bad thing, I think. But uh, when it comes to ground stroke power, I feel like that's something I can do a little bit better at. And the movement as well, like frig, um, Cooper Williams, the number one from Harvard, so balanced out there, so stable, so solid, kind of effortless power. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, he's the number one player, like I said, from Harvard. He won the junior uh, Australian Open title last year, uh, doubles, I think. Um, so yeah, just watching him play as a freshman as well was pretty impressive. But then, yeah, man, overall, just... Really great experience, a lot to take away from it, knowing that, you know, they're they're a little bit better than I am, but yet that I'm really close, you know. Um, and I think also for our team to go watch that as well was really good, you know, for us to get motivated and stuff as well. So I'm going to try and reel it in here. I'm going to, you know, don't want to keep you guys too long, but great experience. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, this is a different video for you guys today, but I just wanted to show you guys what it was going to be like. Uh, to go watch and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it and with that we'll catch you guys on the next video